Yep, once again, part two. Yeah, the Lord is a separatist. The Lord creates separation and in, in, inequality. Man. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 8. When the Most High, yeah, God the Father, Yahweh, who the people call people in the world call God, divided to the nations their inheritance. Yeah, the Lord divided the nations and divided to the nations their inheritance. Look, when he separated the sons of Adam, yeah, every son and grandson and sons of sons of the sons that came out of Adam, they all been separated and divided into nations, races of people. Yeah. He set the bound of a people according to the number of the children of Israel. Yeah, so he said he he put uh, a nation in this land, a nation in that land, gave this nation this portion of inheritance, the other nation this portion of inheritance, and the same for the nation of Israel, which is which is his chosen. Verse nine it says it here: for the Lord's portion, yeah, Yahweh's portion is his people. Then it's gonna, as you can see, the, the semicolon. Semicolon, comma, meaning meaning what? Uh, it's about to elaborate or explain further. Or on on, on the Lord's portion is His people. So who is His people? Jacob is the lot of His inheritance. Jacob, yeah, yeah, whose name later on changed to Israel. So the twelve tribes of Israel, is the Lord's, yeah, and He chose them. He chose them to be above all races of people on the earth. Yeah, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, and those that are scattered throughout the earth, you know, that are descendants of the nation of Israel. You are truly, and it will be shown that you are above all these races of people. Yeah, these so-called Chinese, Japanese, so def definitely the so-called white people, even though they're ruling to ruling today, which is a part of their prophecy of ruling. But their rulership is going down, man. And after their rulership is gone down and destroyed, the Lord is going to return and, and destroy these heathens, destroy the so-called white man, put them in slavery and chains. Then we're going to rule with our Lord. Yeah, forever. Yeah. So that's that's really that man. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Some more scriptures. Isaiah 45 verse 3 and I will give thee the treasures treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places and that thou mayest know that I the Lord Yahweh which call thee by thy name am the God of Israel okay, the God of Israel for Jacob my servant's sake yeah, and Israel mine elect my chosen in other words I I have even called thee by thy name I have surnamed thee Vova Vol, thou has not known. Why? Because we fell into sin and, and darkness, man. Rejected the Lord, and the Lord's waking you up through his men, the prophets. This is a good one here. Eh? Isaiah 45, 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. The nation of Israel is going to be saved, and they're going to be saved forever, man. Living forever in safety. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. So the nation of Israel are actually going to have a world without end. man. Yeah. So if I say for Lord. That created the heavens. God himself that formed the earth and made it. He have established it. 
he created it not in vain he formed it to be inhabited i am the lord and there is none one else so the lord created this earth so that the nation of israel can have dominion over it man yeah and let's we see it here psalms chapter 2 verse 8 and it says, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts, the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So this earth is supposed to be our possession, and these heathen, the other nations, are supposed to be our possession. Yeah, we're supposed to ask and pray this. So you gotta ask yourself, and this is a prayer. You know this is a prayer. This is something you're supposed to be praying about. A pr praying that the Lord Lord willing, as he comes back, when he comes back, that you be a part of that number of the elect, you know, of the nation of Israel. And you you, you can have uh, portions of, of the earth, man. Por uh, portions of the, of the heathen as slaves. This is in the Bible, man. Yeah? So this is, this is not equality. Yeah? See, people don't know the Bible. These Christians, they don't know the Bible, man. And they make excuses saying, oh, oh this is the, the Old Testament you're reading from. You know, the, the, the scripture says, the, the Lord said, you know, he comes in a volume of the books. The, the, the word is written of him, man. Yeah. Verse 9, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. And this scripture uh, links to the, the Revelation chapter 2 as well. Verse 25, which I'll get. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. It says, be wise now. In other words, we're going to treat them harshly because they, they treated us harshly. They enslaved us, so we're going to enslave them. They beaten us, we're going to beat them. They destroyed our nation. We're going to destroy their nations. Yeah. But then afterwards, there's going to be peace on the earth. And they're going to worship us. They're going to bow down to us. We're going to, we're going to treat them good after they serve their judgment, their harsh judgment. Then we're going to treat them good, you know. But they're going to have to give us the best things that they have and give it to us, man. Because we're going to be the royal ones. We ain't going to have to steal it. We ain't even going to have to ask. Yeah. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, but thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. So it's going to be aggressive, violent. Be wise now, therefore, all ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. So what actually judges of the earth? Judges to rule. You know, to set out commands and to dis to make decisions. Yeah. So you've got to have a ruling class mentality. It's the same you know, it's being quoted here again. You know, Revelations 2 and verse 25. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And that thing is what? The word. The knowledge. The, the, the knowledge of salvation. The wisdom and knowledge of these scriptures. The understanding of these scriptures. From the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. You know, from the, the, the perfect doctrine. From the from the, the gospel, the good news concerning the nation of Israel that we are going to rule. Esau, the so-called white man, the devil is going down. These heathens are going to be our subjects. They're going into slavery. We will get our revenge. You know, everything that's pertaining to the nation of Israel, who we are, our true identity, that we are the nation of Israel. Hold fast, man. Maintain the faith. Keep the commandments to the best of your ability, which was given to our people. Yeah, it says, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. So, just like it was in Psalms chapter 2, verse 8, to get power and rulership over the, the nations. It's the same here. And this is the Lord, written in red. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. The same thing in Psalms 2. They will be broken to pieces. 
even as I received them my father, and I will give him the morning star. Yeah. He that having ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Yeah. So this goes out to the church of Israel, man. But the elect, they're gonna take heed, and the elect, they're gonna repent. So they're gonna get the first dibs of the kingdom, man. But the rest of the Israel that are not of the elect, they're gonna have to perish and die, and be reborn. Uh, uh, re reborn to, in the, the the new the new life, man, in the in the kingdom. And and then they will know the right thing what to do because in the kingdom we're basically we're going to be all knowing man we're going to do the righteousness in perfection so read you can read that in hebrews chapter 8 but yeah